What is up guys, Kevin here, and today we have another diecast review. Okay, well, I just lost my train of thought there. Anyways, this is of a machine, of a model that I've had for a long time, and a machine that I have a deep affection for, I guess you could say. This is of the Rotec SP2500 shuttle buggy. Now, my first complaint about this model, and I'm not going to do this to be negative and stuff, but my first complaint about it is... It's a generic shuttle buggy. What I mean by that is, this is actually modeled off of the SB2500D series shuttle buggy, but instead they just put SB2500 as sort of like a blanket term. Um, as much as I'd love to go into the details of it, by the way, you cannot call it an E because it has a fume extraction vent back here on the conveyor. But anyways, this is obviously manufactured by First Gear and 150th scale, and it's one of those models that a lot of people like to get their hands on. And it is somewhat re relatively available if you know how to get it. But otherwise, these things go for a rather high price tag, and so yeah. I'm not going to tell you guys how to get one because, well, not to be a dick, but I don't want to ruin it, honestly. So anyways, we're going to start up here at the hopper, and this is a relatively long model, and here you can see where the tr dump truck would dump in. And by the way, before I start, the purpose of the shuttle buggy is to, one, um, give pavers access to an asphalt supply in an unusual position, like if they were paving a sidewalk or whatever, um, and a dump truck couldn't back up to it, and it was off to the side or whatever, or two... And two, these are required on most uh, highway projects because they enrich in the asphalt mixture. What I mean by that is, if you have a truck that, um, if you have a, tr if you are a truck driver, for instance, and you're hauling asphalt, what happens during the course of your ride is the um, the oils in the asphalt um, start to kind of sink down. And what this does is it mixes the mixture up and makes it more of a rich mixture, improving the lifespan and the quality of the finished mat. Anyways, up here you do have a little plastic auger. Um, it's hidden behind this little uh, door here, which does on the real machine slide up, but does not on the model. The functionality of this model is very basic, by the way. Um, you got your wheel guards here and your control box. And then you got two mirrors for the front wheels. And by the way, I know from experience from actually operating one of these at one point in time that driving one of these is very difficult. Um, anyway, we're going to flip this thing back around. And you do have a nice amount of hydraulic hosing details. Um, you do have your exhaust here. It is plastic. A lot of this model is plastic, but overall, though, it's still nice. Uh, you do have your fume extraction. Um exhaust vent I guess you can put it um, again it's just to kind of make life easier for the operator this one here this conveyor here is known as C1 C2 is back here and it goes up to and drops down to C3 which is the exit um, conveyor anyways you do have a rubber a rubbery a hard rubber um, cover over the uh, bay of the machine However, on the bottom, you do have a opening service um, door for the auger that would mix up the asphalt and improve the overall product. Um, Roadtech logo, the new Roadtech with the Aztec Industries company uh, logo there. Uh, anyways, you do have your engine vent and it is uh, powered by a Cummins diesel engine. Your fume extraction, your second fume extraction exhaust port, and your operator station. There is two seats, and that's because this console can swivel to either side, but it does not do so on the model. And you got a plethora of mirrors on this model. Um, going to the back, you have another, you have a, well not another, but you have this hose right here. And this, again, goes ties into the fume extraction system. Here is your um, cabling that would control the height of the rear conveyor and it is fixed in position unfortunately and it's really sad that it is it would be really cool to ha be able to tilt this up and down and stuff same for c1 it'd be cool to raise it up and down which people have done in the past so i've seen um your c3 or your exit conveyor it is very nice i mean it does move by the way However, it is sort of hindered 
and what I mean by that, it makes it a little bit difficult because it has another rubber piece right here, and it does make it difficult to kind of move the conveyor. And it is possible to take it off, by the way. Um, and then again, the exit of the conveyor here, your splash guard, as I've heard paving uh, people in the paving industry call it, your splash guard, is rubber and it it, it does move. Um, you do have one ladder up and the American flag right there. So now then, it what would you now my opinion? Excuse me. Would it be better to get this or its European counterpart, the, however you say this flipping brand's name, um, because I am too simple-minded to say it correctly, MT3000-2i. Well, in terms of detail and functionality, the 3000-2 wins. However, I've never seen one of these and probably will never see one of these in real life, and I've seen a plethora of SB2500s and... Honestly, I would choose the SB2500 because I see it, but again, it all comes down to your preference. So now then, let's show you how it looks with a paper behind it. And by the way, first gear does include this piece right here. It is, I've heard it be called a buggy box before, and it literally just goes in the hopper and allows you to stack more asphalt in it, the hopper. Um, there's how it looks with that, and very nice, very simple. So anyways, and that was the RP190 by Norscott. And this is the only Rotec model that was made by First Gear. So on a rating of one to 10, I would give this thing a seven out of 10. Now the thing that really does help it out and the thing that hurts it is definitely the functionality and stuff, but detail and the fact of, well, let's face it, the shuttle buggy is just an awesome machine, helps it out very much. And the look of it is amazing. But anyways, that's it for the review guys. Thanks for watching, hopefully you liked it. And peace out. Sorry it was bouncing everywhere, by the way. Uh, I've just been excited to do this review for a long time because it is a nice model. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.